and welcome in this tutorial. I am Ahmed Zikri. In the previous video, we have seen how to create web application using Apex. Apex automatically created a database-based authentication. In this video, I will show you how to configure LDAP as external authenticator. So let's start. I assume that you have already uh, configured LDAP server. I, for my case, I installed LDAP, open LDAP, running on the server on the default port, and I have JExplorer to see, to, to create, to add new user and, and change passwords. So the first thing, you should be logged as workspace administrator and you go in shared component and you see and security, you should add to define new authenticating chains. So let's do that. I create new one based on pre-configured chains from the gallery, yes. And I give this name, for example. And here you have the possibility to choose or to select several options. We, we choose this one, LDAP. And now you have to give the host name or the host. IP, in my case, the port is default, so you don't need to, to set any value here. On my server, I use no SSL, and here you should give the DN name, the distinguished name. I get it from here, for example, this is one user, I copy this one, past here. And you should use plus placeholder. LDAP, I have already. This is a placeholder. It means when, when you try to log in, you give a name, and this name will be replaced here. Use exact yes is true. And here you have the possibility to test this configuration. I will test it. I give a user, my LDAP user, and it is very important, the user should be also uh, defined in both LDAP and the database. I test my login and I get this error uh, with this information, uh, this information, it is not enough. I don't know what the problem exactly. Therefore, I prepared a test unit to test my, my connection. I try uh, with, with these uh, packages, DBMS LDAP, I try to get connected to my server. I have my user the end and the password, and I will see. And I get this error, network access denied by access control list, ACL. It means uh, if you check the Oracle documentation, you see that I have no ACL defined. You should define one. How to do that? With this block, I create HCL. You can check the, the documentation and you can also find this script attached to this video. I created this one with this name. And you see now, uh, not yet, because I have, I have to 
to assign a host and a port, assign ETL, and here you have to give the privilege to other user. In my case, I use public. You can also use this one. I try. And now you see I have my LDAP, my, my HCL, and the public has the privilege on this HCL. Now I try my block, block and it works. So let's go here. Test login. I have to give test my login and then it works. So I have only to apply the change. Uh, there is other setting here, but, but these here are the most important things. So I create and you see here LDAP, my new authenticator, is the current. It means I go here, I start the application again. Now I try with the LDAP user, Afikli, Afikli, and it works. It was. Thank you for watching.